Hi, this is Babs, and today I'm going to share with you one of my junk journals that I made. This is my prayer and scriptural junk journal. And inside, before I open it, you can see my bowl. I had to make my beautiful, gorgeous bow because I feel that this is a gift that I made to myself and um, I closed it with a bow so each time I go in and out I have to unwrap this gorgeous gift inside I um, placed different scriptures also I put um, I love my our daily bread it's little um, readings that you read each day and you can put your um, favorite day that you read you could just tear it out little prayers or little readings that you have any little small readings that you enjoy now in my daily bread I, I tear out the pages that I like so you can have that look this one says um, lifter of my head so different little readings that you enjoy that you can go back to and refer to in days when you need to be encouraged so it's a lot of um, readings that I tear out this one says worship this one says abundance Christ love so these are all the different types of things you can put inside your prayer and scripture journal joy hope perseverance loving God so I'm sure you have a lot of or maybe you can get some little books that has prayers or poems in it or even your favorite things of, of some keepsakes that your mom or your grandma gave to you you can keep inside of your your prayer journal and here you can see I cut out using my Cricut I cut out the word prayer and inside you can see where I placed already some of the readings I cut out these pockets and um, these pockets I cut them out with my Martha Stewart um, punch made pockets using them um, scrap book paper and vellum this is just all of this is just scrapbook paper I used my Martha Stewart here to decorate the corner it's a corner punch here this is a pocket that you could put prayers a lot of my friends, um, you know, they have prayer requests, so I can write their names here, and I can write their prayer requests on the back, and um, insert it in the pocket. So each time I get ready to pray, I take out my prayer journal, I read their prayer requests. I don't have to read the prayer requests all the time, but, you know, I know, and God knows what their needs are, so... These are tags that you could put in the pockets. You put your scriptures or your points on the tags and insert them. They can go behind the pockets any way you desire. This is a card. It says blessed and highly favored. You can write um, something on your card. Here I have a, a coin envelope. It's also a pocket you could place a tag behind that so it's just different ways this is the scrapbooking paper I went and I decorated it more with my circles has pockets here you can put tags this way or you could put tags behind this envelope and keep them there write the prayers on the back of the tag stationary places to do journaling journaling So, as you can see, it just has different, I love tags, you can make your own tags and, and you place them here. So it's a lot of space, it's a lot of space where you can put a lot of writing, a lot of points, insert your um, readings, you can, um, you know, crop them on um, backward paper. This is a lot of um, paper stationery that I made using my circles so you could just put this reading on that just crop it on there and you'll be able to place it inside behind your pocket somewhere in your this here your band belly band here and um, you could place it behind the belly band 
card, more space, and this is the um, the little charms that I made that I'm going to put some on the um, on the rings. This is a tag goes behind the card. I even made this um, card like a pocket. Cut the back of the card and use a pocket. So so many beautiful ways you can you make your book however you want it. This is transparency paper. And I took the um, transparency paper and I added it. You can't see it that much because it is pink on pink. But this is the transparency paper. I cut up the pocket using a pocket punch. And I made it a pocket. You know, if I put white behind it, if I put something... No, I think this is too thick. But you get the idea if I put this that's still too thick behind it. You can see it a little, a little bit of the transparency. You can see it a little bit that way. Transparency with a pocket. This is my favorite right here. One of my friends said it as Happy Mail. This is a mini album. It's a mini. It's a lot of good places in here. You can put tags and things inside. This is a file folder mini. And I am really going to get the um, tutorial to that because I want to make more of these. This is yummy. I love it. I love it. I want to make so many more of these. Happy Meal. I love Happy Meal. Makes me happy. More paper that are decorated. More pockets. A lot of more places you can write. So basically that is it. Just tags and places that you can put all of your your scriptures and your prayers this is another um like a photo little photo book that you can put photos and faith peace this is like a sunday school dress a sunday dress peace Just a lot of more space, love, more pockets, space to write, more prayers, whatever. It's a vellum envelope where you can insert some of your favorite readings inside or your prayers inside. More space. Never, never, never can have run out of space. This is like a vellum here. You can put them inside here and read them here. More space. This is another Sunday dress. Sunday best. Peace. Bookmarks. Another place. You can place things. More pockets for adding tags and prayers. Space here. So, you get the idea, kept, kept by the grace of God. You get the idea where you can put so many, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but this is my prayer and scriptural journal. I had so much fun making it and put so much in, so much love and into it and I had so many pages it would have been too fat and too juicy so I had to take look all the pages that I had inside and I had to take them out this is enough space for another junk journal I made it too big but look look at all the beautiful pages this one is also So this one is another one. This one is another one. So I had to just make the cover. Because if I would have put this one, envelopes, you could just take your envelopes and just look, you just decorate them. Beautiful envelopes. So enough for a whole nother journal here junk journal because see this would have been too fat and too juicy this one would have been too fat and too juicy so this is an extra one I'm going to make another one 
also going to give some of them away to friends. So, I hope you enjoyed my flip through junk journal, prayer and scripture journal. Made the cover from cardboard. Love cardboard. Made fabric. Put fabric on the on the front and back cover. And used some more of my embellishment. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to be inspired.